Can I tell you one more story about the uh, language barrier? Yes. I don't want to sound like I'm obsessed with it, but I am. <laughs> and do. do <laughs> you tell might me. have to edit it out for the um, <laughs> radio show. Um, I mean, there, there are fewer and fewer potential areas for confusion, just because we get so many of your uh, television shows and films and so on. But and we get are. yours. And you get yeah. ours, so we're, you know, we, can, we can talk. Um, <laughs> but there are still just one or two areas where you can get tripped up. So I've been in New York since January. It, everyone's been so welcoming and hospitable, and I have made a few new friends. And the other day, I was talking to a new friend who was telling me about some difficulties that he was facing in his life, and we discussed it. And I tried to say some consoling words. <laughs> and then, to his utter astonishment, I urged him to keep his pecker up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, we'll be editing that out, I think. <laughs> Well, it turned out we were just what? speaking. What? Why? We were just Why speaking would you languages. tell him that? Well, I was merely encouraging him <laughs> to adopt a sunny outlook on life, and he, and he was under the unfortunate misapprehension that I was kind of acting as a cheerleader for a certain part of his anatomy. <laughs> you know, I've been to London, and nobody has ever said that. Keep your back around. No. I don't. How common is that? I know, it's like, keep your spirits up. Keep your pecker up. <laughs> no, obviously not here. I'm not going to... What did he say? What did he do? What did he say what? when you... He was, I mean, he was sort of just <laughs> looking at me. What, what, you know, what? Gee, this relationship is like, taking quite a turn. <laughs> right?